vision of the human performance program here at Red Bull is to understand how the very best in the world perform at the top of their game. This project specifically is looking at how muscle activation varies between low and high altitude. I don't understand 100% of the science of it, but to me it basically means we're going to go up to high altitude, work our asses off, then we're going to go down to low altitude, work our asses off. We're going to look at our muscles and look at our blood and see if anything changed. I'm really interested in this stuff. I have a physical therapy degree and so to transfer that over into my athletics is just phenomenal to me. I want to be able to see what I can do and improve as an athlete. Slow twitch muscle fibers are used by endurance athletes to generate power over a sustained long period of time. Whereas fast twitch fibers are used to generate high force and high speeds over a very short time frame. When you produce force into the pedals for these athletes, you're utilizing different types of fibers. And we want to try to understand if we can manipulate that somehow to have better force production over a longer period of time. We are just getting poked and prodded and tested to our limits. Come on, Angela. Beautiful. Nice work, buddy. It's a very unique project where we bring leading edge science together with great athletic talent with the hope of answering questions about how to improve performance. We're looking at high and low altitudes and we're looking at the parameters of how that's going to affect us as endurance athletes. For me to sustain a super high cadence just felt like way more effort than a low cadence. This last test that we did at high cadence, I just felt like my heart was going to explode out of my chest. If the higher cadence shows a result of improved muscle activation um, and improved efficiency over time for performance, then I will definitely be doing a lot of intervals at a higher cadence than I'm used to or vice versa, a lower cadence. We assess the athlete at death valley, which is sea level, and then we fly them about 9,800 feet up in Mammoth. And we have them complete the same exercise test that they did in death valley. Every time you go up above five, six thousand feet, you feel an immediate physiological effect. I'm getting ready for my first Ironman this fall and there will be two really interesting results of this camp. One will be the efficiency at different cadence levels and then the second one is understanding how to properly fuel myself for eight hours is going to be super, super important. As important as all the training I do. We've done 42 performance trials over the course of the week. What was interesting to me that was unexpected is the ability to extract oxygen at the muscular level appear to be maintained at altitude compared to sea level. There was one aspect that we got from the data that helped me change my training. Seeing that at a lower cadence, I could oxygenate blood and process it better into my muscles at a lower physiological cost to my body. What we'd hope the athletes take from a program like this is that they get a better sense of how they respond under different conditions, and that adds a piece to the bigger puzzle of what makes them perform at the top of their game.